Good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity to present our study. I have nothing to disclose. Gastric adenocarcinoma is one of the most common cancers in our country. The application of laparoscopic gastric surgery has increased rapidly for the treatment of early gastric cancer. However, in the case of advanced tumor, it remains controversial. Most of the evidence includes patients undergoing laparoscopic assisted gastrectomy, but the experience with complete laparoscopic total gastrectomy is still lacking. Our group recently published a much core study comparing open versus laparoscopic gastrectomy uh, for early and advanced tumors <clears throat> with uh, 31 patients uh, in each branch. This study included total and subtotal gastrectomies. The three-year survival and surgical outcomes were similar between both groups. The aim of, of this study is to report the surgical outcomes and three-year survival of laparoscopic total gastrectomy for early and advanced gastric cancer. We designed a retrospective course study with patients uh, operate between 2005 and 2012 in two high-volume high children's centers. All patients were operated by a totally laparoscopic technique with a D2 and a lymph node dissection. The esophageal genostomy was made uh, in a Hansun one layer uh, fashion with uh, an absorbable sutural material. This series included 51 patients, 30 male, the median age was 64 years old, and <clears throat> uh, 29 patients were classified as uh, stage one, 14 patients as stage two, and eight patients as a stage three. The operative time was 293 minutes, and the estimate blood loss was 211 uh, ml. Two patients were required conversion to open surgery. The length of stay was eight days. The uh, oral intake started at uh, uh, postoperative day four, and the drain was removal at six postoperative day. The complication rate was 21.6%. The most frequent complication was the esophageal genostomy leak in five cases. Five patients required a operation, and the mortality rate was 2%. The esophageal genostomy leak was managed conservatively in two cases by a percutaneous drainage in one case and by surgery and endoprothesis in two cases. In histology, the tumor size was, was 3.5.4% and a positive lymph node was found in 16 patients. A half patients had early and advanced tumor respectively. Median follow-up was 30 months and 10 patients received IUN chemotherapy and the tumor, tumor recurrence was observed in six patients. <clears throat> the three-year overall survival was 76% and the three-year disease-free survival was 84%. The three-year overall survival in early tumor was 91% and advanced tumor was 56%. The three-year overall survival in N0 tumors was 83% and, and positive tumors was 61% and the three-year overall survival was 93% in stage one, 51% in stage two, and 40% in stage three. In conclusion, in this series, laparoscopic total gastrectomy with a D2 lymphadenectomy is a feasible procedure with an acceptable morbidity rate. This is an initial experience, and currently our leak rate is almost 10%. Early tumors had significant better survival than advanced tumor, and a trend through better survival was observed in n tumors. More patients and longer follow-up are required to confirm these results. Thank you. We probably have time for one question. We're just about at the end of our time. So does anyone, anyone have a question for this well-presented paper? Just a quick one. Uh, you mentioned that uh, uh, I think you said only 10 receive adjuvant chemotherapy. Is that because of their stage or because they were not? Because the stage. 